so the moment is here. After many preparations, much looking forward, the time comes for you to give yourselves to each other for all of life to come. It's a day of great joy for your families, your friends, but above all, this is your day, the day of your gift to one another. Of course, many people have prepared you for this day. Your families prepare you. It's the family where we first learn to love, where each of us first begins to become a person capable of loving. Your friends have brought you by the support they've shown you, by the challenges they've given you. They've helped you to grow and to mature and to bring yourselves to this point where you now feel ready to make this commitment to one another. Amelia, take this ring. as a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Here come, Michael, take this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. But part of our understanding of love is that love cannot remain static. Of its nature, it must grow and deepen and develop, but it's a tribute to your belief in one another, that you are willing to say today, before God and before all of us, that your love always will grow, that your relationship always will more and more become what you want it to be, what God calls it to be. As all of us join our prayers to yours, as you now offer this sacrament to one another. Thank you all for coming, honoring us with, with your presence here. We are very grateful to you. I wanted to say that finally I got rid of my son. Now I have somebody else to worry about. It. So, you guys, I wish you the best. Emmy, welcome to our family. We love you. And thank you for taking the moment. <laughs> okay. All right. Everybody enjoy, please. Everybody enjoy. For those of you that don't know me, uh, in addition to being the best man, I'm also Mike's friend of 35 years, um, which at the same time seems like a long time and just like it was yesterday. Um, what today is, it's not a new chapter in Mike's life, it's not a new chapter in Amy's life, it's a new book, and that's the book uh, of Mike and Amy, and it's a new story. And it's a love story. Um, so please join me tonight. Raise your glasses uh, to wish Mike and Amy health, happiness, and like all good stories, a fairy tale ending. To Mike and Amy.
Congratulations. To my dearest Honey Bee, I love you more than words can say and more than words can express. You make my world so sweet like honey. Love you always and forever, Mike. Hey, you oh, thank oh, I got two. Cool. How cool. How cool is that? Wow, you two look so pretty. Dear Honeybee, I am so grateful to God that he made us meet. I am so thankful that he also made you decide to marry me and be with me for the rest of our life. My love for you is timeless and will not seek for condition. We will continue and stay until the end of time. Love, honeybee, Amy. Nice, very nice. I love you very much. I have been looking forward to this for, uh, for a long time, but the time was right, if there is such a thing. So, I, and I have no regrets now, nor will I ever have any regrets. Uh, so that do us part. Thank you.